Hello everyone, my name is Hilary Chin. Thank you all so much for coming and watching my YouTube channel. Please remember to subscribe, remember to like as we learn forward. Today I want to teach you how to put logo in your questionnaire in Kobo Toolbox. It's an amazing practice. Uh, many times when you design questionnaires, many organizations, many companies would love uh, their questionnaire to have their logos um, such that those who are responding should know which organization is um, asking those questions. Please, let's go into my system. Let me walk you through this process. So um, right now I'm in my Kobo Toolbox system and here now I want us to choose this project that says volunteer and staff. We'll double click on that project. And once we double click on that project, it opens up here. And up here I want you to see here we are on summary right now. And we have forms, we have data, we have settings. So we'll come to form here and we click. Once we click on our form here, what we have to do is, I want us to preview this form. We'll just click that small eye there and then it opens up. So right now we want to preview the form and see how it looks. So here now, normally we want our logo to appear around here, the volunteer and staff, and then our logo to appear around here. And I'll just take this down for a moment for us to see the logo. This is the logo I want to bring in. And while that is on, um, I'll just close this form. And then come here immediately to these three dots here and then i click once i click i'll download this form okay i'll just download once i download it appears up here you see this is the download and i click now once we download we give it some time so um once we download the form please um i always caution that each time we are writing codes in kobo toolbox or any other platform please do well to pay attention and make sure you write the codes correctly because they are extremely sensitive. If you miss an I, if you miss a dot, if you miss a comma, it's going to be something else, okay? So let's continue and we move you through the process on how to put your logo. So after we have downloaded this form, I want you to pay attention. Look right here. You see that right here we have start and end. I want you to pay attention right here. Now we are going to add two... Um, items we are going to add a roll and a column okay so we are going to come we want to add a roll under here so we are going to come here and we select please don't be overwhelmed with all this information this is not your focus remember that we have to focus up here okay so I'm gonna click select this right click and I click insert it insert an additional row under here okay and then I come again on this required here and then I right click again and I insert, and it inserts another rule, okay? So right here, we have some other codes that we have to, have to write. You, if you come in here, under this end here, you write note. And then you come under here, you write logo. And then um, you come under here, you write media, column, column, image, okay? Perfect. Once you do this, you are good to go. The next thing we are going to do now is, let me save this. I'm gonna save this as Kobo, okay? This will help us to get this file when we want to get it. We save it on our desktop, we save it as Kobo. Perfect, let's save that. Pay attention, we wrote, we added our role here, added a column here, and then we wrote notes, logo, and now we want to move ahead. There's another code we are going to get and bring in here, okay? Let me show you how we are going to do that. Let's go back to our Kobo toolbox. So right now, inside our Kobo toolbox, I want you to pay attention to something. We are still on that form. Remember, we just downloaded it here. It's still on our Excel sheet, okay? So right now, we are going to come to setting here. Okay, while we are on setting here, we go to media. While we're on media here, we'll now select the, our logo. It's on our, we, remember we saw it on our, um, on our desktop. This is it here, we, we, we named it as logo. And then we'll click there, and then we'll bring it inside now, inside the Kobo the Toolbox system. It now appears here, you see it here, we have logo.jpg. It's in a picture form. We are now going to select this, okay? We, will go, we are going to highlight this and select. Control C and then we bring it back to our Excel sheet here and then we just control V here and then we paste it in here you see so now we added our role put note and logo came here added our column beside this hint here 
wrote media column column image and now we brought in our image from setting to media and now we have copied the image and put here so now we are going to take this form back inside kubo toolbox let's save it first before we do that okay um always learn to save on your desktop um to keep your material up to date perfect now we have saved it and the name is kobo we'll just rush and go back to our kobo toolbox system right here we'll go back to form okay while we are on form here we just go back here remember we used these three dots um, previously now we are going to go here because we want to replace the form and then we click once we click we say upload an xlsm form we come and then we click here and then we upload our form remember we named it kobo and then we select and then we bring in okay and we give it some time and after a while now the form has been brought into the kobo system so all I need to do now is let's preview the form from here and see how it looks. So now we are previewing the form and hopefully we are going to see our logo there well placed. You see, this is the logo. It's here well placed. Okay. This is just amazing. Um, this is just powerful and simple to do. Hello, guys. I hope this was helpful. Please continue to follow us. Continue to um, send this video to your friends and colleagues for them to learn some of this skill and also please remember to subscribe if this video was interesting by the end of this video you are going to be seeing a whatsapp number please do well to join our whatsapp group also click down below the link you are going to see a whatsapp link there for you to join us as we learn together thank you all so much and god bless you